to regrade or not to regrade? That is the question. Hey, it's James from Dragon Ink Comics. Welcome back. Well, I'm here with uh, my Dirjevic variant of Ultimate Fallout 4. And I've had this, this itch to potentially regrade this book for some time. Now, it may seem like uh, not a very opportune time, given I just uh, have been uh, kind of crapping on CGC lately. <laughs> but uh, this video is, is basically a question. And the question is whether I should have this book cracked, pressed, and regraded. I'm going to do uh, like a close-up on this book. I'm going to take it out of the plastic, and we're going to take a look at it over here in a second. And uh, But before I do that, let's take a look at the grader's notes for this 9.4 and, uh, and see what they say. Oh, there's no grader's notes. Oh, isn't that convenient? Oh, thank you, CGC. So you got this 9.4 with no grader's notes. It's probably worth around $10,000. Thanks. Really helpful. All right. So we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to have to actually take a close look at the book and see whether we think that it actually can be graded better. All right. So stay tuned. All right. So we're going to briefly go over my process for evaluating a book for a crack press and regrade that's already in a case. As I first noted, the first thing to do is check the grader's notes to see if there's any pressable defects. In the case of this book, there are no grader's notes, so we have to figure out what CGC was thinking. I recommend using a magnifying glass like this MagniPros magnifying glass that does have a lighting feature which will really let you look at details uh, on the book that uh, you may not otherwise be able to see. I'm not going to use this during our evaluation of this video because it causes some distortion on the video and I don't think it's really helpful for you guys to see the defects. But what I really want to go over is my process. So once I review the grader's notes, I take a look at the cover and the back cover to see for any smudges, fingerprints, things like that that could potentially be cleaned off. In the case of this book, I don't see any of those. I also look for any creasing, uh, any kind of waviness, anything like that that could potentially be pressed out. Again, in the case of this book, I don't see any of that. I then take a very close look at the corners. In, in the case of this book, I evaluate the corners on the back and the front. So I have already taken a look at these. So this bottom right hand corner looks good. Top right looks good. Top left looks good. Now bottom left, it does look like there is a very slight, maybe little rub on that corner. So that could be 0.1 off. All right. So the next thing we'll do is take a look at the spine. This is where this book seems to have most of its defects. Now, every small color breaking stress mark will be 0.1. So we've already got maybe minus 0.1 here. So the book's a 9.9. .9. Now, right here, there looks like there might be a stress line, which uh, we'll have to flip the book around to see if it's color breaking. So that potentially be 0.2. We go up 0.3. That is not a color breaking stress line. That's part of the book. There's another one, 0.4, and a very small one, 0.5. Okay, so just to, for completion's sake, I'll show you guys that yes, this is color breaking. Okay, so potent, there's potentially uh, four color breaking stress marks and a small corner rub, which again, the corner rub is more clearly visible on, uh, on the back cover. So uh, at this point, this book would be graded around a 9.5. So depending on how the grader is feeling that day and whether or not any other defects are visible that I can't see, this book uh, does kind of fall into the 9.4 to 9.6 range uh, based on at least this evaluation. So in this case, because it's really not a clear, um, a clear case that this book would get a better grade, I do not consider it a good candidate for a crack press and regrade. Although I do see some circumstances where this could get a 9.6. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below whether you would crack press and regrade this book or whether you would simply leave it as is. Again, thanks for checking in and uh, of course, happy hunting.